All right, welcome back to West Coast Songwriters Songwriter Competition, the Palo Alto chapter. I'm Becky Saunders. Really glad you're here with us this evening. Uh, for the second half, we have Archie, Andrew on uh, deck, and Rusty's in the hold. But before we begin our second half, I've just got to say thank you to my fantastic volunteer crew here at the Media Center. These people are getting no pay tonight. I'm really grateful, so grateful to Steve Rasmussen from Milk Pill for feeding the crew this evening. Thank you, Steve. And yeah, all right, shout out to Steve. So on camera one, we have Mr. Michael Uhila. Michael, thank you. And on camera two, we have Audrey Daniel. Audrey, thank you very much. And someone get focused on Cheryl Savan. She's on camera three. All right. And our floor manager this evening is Lauren Young. Thank you, Lauren. And our stage manager is Anthony Jewett. Thank you, Anthony. And running the audio, somebody catch a Michael on the audio board, Mike Quinn. Thank you, Mike. So, uh, yeah, they're earning the big bucks here. We really thank you. And then in this control room, in control, we have Scott Van Dyne, director, Fred Bachman on graphics, Bill Lindemann is running the audio board, and Karen Adams is our studio tech. She's the only paid person here this evening, making sure that we behave and we don't burn the place down with our <laughs> raucous song making. So uh, thank you for bearing with during that, but I just have to say thank you. They give up our evenings uh, for they give up their evenings for us. So thank you guys. Okay. All right. So um, Archie. All right. Uh, take it away. You're kicking off the second half for us. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Archie Jackson, and uh, this is a song about uh, trying to make things right. And um, uh, sometimes it's not easy to own up to the mistakes that you make. But uh, so um, this is my way of trying through a song. It's called All My Fault. <laughs> of names I owe something to no amount of words will make this up to you and these lines on the paper just might be the thing that breaks her does it mean anything when I say I'm sorry I'm sorry does it change anything when I say I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and it's all my fault? Explain. I never wanted it to turn out this way. Sometimes I wonder, will you ever let me in? It's hard to think clearly when your heart is on the man. Does it mean anything when I say I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Does it change anything?
Thank you, Archie. All right, and so while Andrew is getting situated, uh, Andrew, are you here? Yeah, cool. Uh, while he's getting situated, I just wanted to bring attention to one more small local business that's supporting uh, this event, West Coast Songwriters and the Media Center. Uh, uh, it is a Carl Ray Piano Service, and uh, Michael mentioned the beautiful chord keyboard. That's not too bad, he said, and it's actually quite an excellent uh, keyboard donated to us this evening for our use by Carla Ray Piano Service. She also gives stuff to the kids. She tunes pianos for free in the public schools. So I really appreciate uh, Carla. She couldn't be here th with us this evening, but oftentimes she is. So I um, really want to say thank you to Carla. And then also, um, in addition to uh, Karen Adams being the tech here this evening, she's also the uh, lighting. She did the lights and created the look and feel here that we have this evening. So I just wanted to uh, say again thank you to Karen for working so hard to get the lighting to get us going live at 730. And so uh, also uh, West Coast Songwriters, don't forget to check them out, westcoastsongwriters.org. Uh, and then we also have performing later this evening, Bob Crane is in the audience. He uh, is the manager for San Rafael. So we're really lucky. So don't forget to check the website and check out all the different chapters that uh, you could just run up and down the West Coast and perform at. So, so uh, Andrew, how are we doing? Should I, I can talk a little bit more. You know, I can probably talk for a long time. So, all righty. Okay. Well, that looks like a saxophone. I don't know. Anybody else with me here? Or? Yeah, so, do you, are you going to play both instruments? Not at the same time, not today. Yeah. All righty. And then we'll thank you once again. I see the ju judges are working really hard. Just pop over there and say thank you, Sonia, Anthony, and Paul, for giving up your Wednesday night. And I really appreciate you coming down to Palo Alto to work for us this evening. So, yeah. We're good on that one. Huh? That's good. You, yeah, it's good. Got it. You got to get yourself settled. All right. All right. Great, thank you. Well, hello everyone. My name's Andrew Beal. Uh, I've been playing music for like 16 years. I love entertaining. And uh, I just thought I'd come up here and uh, be myself. I came down from Napa. And uh, it was my birthday last week. And there was, uh, I think I'm gonna go with a combination of things because we, we had uh, Michael kind of gave me an idea of a tune I wanted to do tonight. It's called uh, Good Information. And, uh, you know, with the internet, you get so much convolutedness, if that's a, uh, a less convoluted word, convolutedness. <laughs> but uh, you just, you know, you, you're looking for an answer and you think it's, you know, everything's on there. You got Google and you got Yahoo and all these other things. And you're looking for just one simple answer. You know, and you type it and you get 
10 million results, you know, and you're trying to narrow it down, and then you're like, whoosh, you know, and I, I just want good information. I just want to answer to one question, that's all, kind of thing. Well, you know, you get that in life. So uh, I just like to think, uh, I want to I wanna find out what the truth is and then stick by that. So, yeah. All right, so that's what this song's about. It's a, kind of a rock song, and I'm a little bit aggressive on the guitar, so we're going to do a five-second sound check kind of thing. This is a, I get, it's quiet and loud. Oh, there's one other ingredient. <laughs> I need a stool. It's my, my pick table. So here's a sound check. I just want to make sure my, uh, my voice isn't quieter than the guitar. Up above the guitar. All right, here we go. It's called Good Information. Time supposed to tell all. Each change of the seasons makes me wonder. Life can be overwhelming I don't think this information is helping Take away all of this meaninglessness Get rid of all of this nonsense Give me good information I'm tired of wasting my patience Although a virtue still not without limits Don't let it hurt you, then again don't forget it Why the pointless banter This stream of conscience is only chatter Twitter, fire Still can't burn up memories of pain So why should I be burned by your flame? Get rid of all of this memory Fire, incinerate the pain Fire, give me good information Fire, light up my name One spark can scar the unsuspecting Lucky stars, will you end up relenting? Find the needle in the hay stack. Feels like I'm sifting through the sand with a toothpick. Mind can be over matter. What's the matter with my mind, mind you? I had it. for me pharmaceutics advertise but don't sell me this mess yeah give me good information 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 tell me what you mean Tell me you'll never sleep, baby Give me good information Tell me what you mean I want that damn good information Give me what I'm looking for, yeah Give me good information Tell me what you mean, yeah Give me good information Tell me Tell me what you mean, honey Give me good information Tell me honestly now Give me good information Give me 
good information. Give me good information. Tell me what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit of rock to get the jitters out. Uh, yeah, and that's kind of like who I am deep inside my soul. Uh, you know, I mean, that's like the really reserved version. <laughs> 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 so uh, this next song, uh, it was my birthday, so I think it's appropriate. Um, it's called, uh, I just turned 27. That's not what it's called. I just turned 27. <laughs> and... Uh, and I fell asleep on my 25th birthday um, after I watched a movie called 500 Days of Summer. And it reminded me of my first girlfriend who was a heartbreak that, a heartbreak that every person writes a song about. And her name wasn't Summer. But, you know, this girlfriend of mine who kind of put my heart in the blender, like I guess it happens to people who give their heart away, uh, well, she was my Summer. So it's kind of like double entendre in the song. <sighs> but it is called The Birthday Song, even though I never say happy birthday or mention the word birthday in the song. So <sighs> it's for anybody who hates growing up. Yeah. It's my Toys R Us kids song. My version. Alright. Here we go. Alright, on three. One, two, three, go. <laughs> under my eyes are appearing oh yeah I no longer believe everything I'm told seems like make-believe is merely endearing oh yeah and every drop of sweat makes the memory stick like leaves falling on my face so I can't forget the icy cold feeling in my frozen breath that every spring blossom just ends up dead and so Summer makes me sick of the being hot And autumn makes me sick of the weather change, yeah Winter makes me sick of always freezing And spring reminds me of how sick I am Cause I hate summer and I hate winter, yeah I hate autumn and I hate spring I hate everything that has anything to do with the fact that I'm still getting older I just want to be a kid forever I never want to grow up, no I'll never grow up I always want to use my imagination I can't wait to be anything I want to I can go anywhere Take a look what I took, yeah, now that I'm here, it's crystal clear, baby, I just want to be a kid forever, I just want to be a kid forever, I just want to be a kid forever, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, yeah, I just want to be a kid forever, I just want to be a kid forever, I just want to be a kid forever, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, bruises on my butt from riding my fire truck big piles of leaves just for me to jump in mountains of snowballs to throw at anyone class field trips to places of wonder summer vacation again all the other seasons don't even have a reason if only I could go back again, yeah I'd play with toys and make more noise And wear my superhero underwear, yeah I just wanna be a kid forever I just wanna be a kid forever I just wanna be a kid forever Forever and ever and ever and ever, yeah I just wanna be a kid forever I just wanna be a kid forever I just wanna be a kid forever Forever and ever and ever and ever, yeah. I just wanna be a kid forever. 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 Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> 
Thank you. Okay. okay, Andrew, thank you so much. Uh, hit forever. Okay, I'm down with that. So, uh, next we have Rusty, is also bringing an, an instrument up here. He's bringing a drum. Then, after Rusty, I think we have Peter or Bob, depending on if Peter's here or not. Peter's coming over the hill from Santa Cruz this evening, so we'll just see about Peter. So, it's Rusty, Bob slash Peter. And then uh, I just want to, uh, yeah, uh, Rusty, you want, you want some help bringing a snare up there? Or? All right, and then so let's, uh, so here we go. On the 21st, which I believe is two nights from tonight, uh, on Friday, October 21st, Sebastopol song competition. Uh, also the same night, Sacramento. On the 24th Monday, my old alma mater, where I got my start at West Coast Songwriters, is uh, the Berkeley competition at Beautiful Freight and Salvage. And on the 24th, a song screening in San Carlos. I might have to go there and screen a new song. Uh, you go there and you, um, get some uh, valuable professional feedback. And on the 25th, uh, San Francisco uh, Songwriter Competition. So you guys check those out if you're here in the studio. If you're watching live, check those out. And then go to westcoastsongwriters.org to get, see the complete calendar of all, it's just it's, everything is going on all the time over there. It's an amazing, amazing place. OK, Rusty, how are you doing? Are you ready? I'm doing really good. OK. All right. But what was I thinking? <laughs> It seemed like a good idea when I got up this morning and on, and on paper. Now it has disaster written all over it. <laughs> you know how you guys, you know, like you play great you know, melodies and chords and have good voices and have beautiful songs? This ain't that. <laughs> One of the benefits is when I die and I'm being judged, it'll be easy after this. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll be like, wow, you should have been there that day when uh, they had these really famous judges and I had one drum. <laughs> so, my father was an American hero. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge with Patton. He was in the 3rd Armored Division and he got an award from the President for ba bravery. Well, he went on to become the recruiting supervisor for the seven Western states of the Army. When I was just shy of 10 years old, by a couple weeks, I said, Daddy, I want to play the drums. And he said, Son, any monkey can play the drums. Three years in the Army would do you good. And I said, Dad, three years in a Broadway musical would do you good, too. But he was a good man, and I'll tell you what he did. Two weeks later, on my 10th birthday, he gave me a drum. And this is that drum. So that was 48 years ago tomorrow. So I thought, I'm going to write a song on that drum, and I'm going to play it for everybody. So it's called Mr. Right Now. Now, this can go three ways. None of them are good. One is, I was never any good, and I'm not going to be any good 48 years later, which is tonight. <laughs> Two is, I was great, and now I'm old and really no good at all tonight. Three is, it's going to be so good, you're going to have to tell your friends tomorrow, I saw this guy on one drum and he sang a song he wrote and it was so good, and they're going to be like, yeah, right. So it's on you. This is called Mr. Right Now. Did someone say please do a drum solo in the middle? Okay, okay, if you insist, I'll do a little drum solo. As I sat by the jukebox, playing my favorite three, big old woman come up, she looked around at me. Looked me up, looked me down, well, I don't know what she found, but she said, come on over here, little man, go and dance with me right now, whoa. 
blasted. Hold on, woman, just dance with yourself. Give this the right a chance. You sure ain't my match, been here with this Sadie Hawkins dance. She said, you bark like a big dog, little pup. Mom, they gotta put you down. Why you act like a German Shepherd if you're hanging out this dog pound? Now, you and me gonna dance tonight just for a little while. Cause I ain't looking for Mr. Right Corn Dog. Just Mr. Right now. She said, I ain't looking for Mr. Right, just Mr. Right now. I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fall out of those clouds. Now you and me gonna dance tonight just for a little while. Cause I ain't looking for Mr. Right, corn dog. Just Mr. Right now. Well, she grabbed me up by the nap of the neck, dragged me onto the floor. She spun me around till I stopped spinning. She spun me around some more. She said, I ain't looking for macho men, no whiners or no clowns. I ain't looking for Mr. Right, corn dog. Just Mr. Right now. She said again, I ain't looking for Mr. Right, just Mr. Right now. I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fall out of those clouds. Now you and me gonna dance tonight just for a little while. Cause I ain't looking for Mr. Right, corn dog. Just Mr. Right now. Drum solo. Said, I ain't looking for Mr. Right, it's Mr. Right now. I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fall out of those clouds now. You and me gonna dance tonight just for a little while. Cause I ain't looking for Mr. Right, corn dog. Just Mr. Right now. She took a look at one no good, took a look at two both bad, took a look at the last two dozen, she stormed off mad. She threw a purse in the corner, the back with a dagger glance. Now she said, I happy with anyone but I'll give y'all a second chance let's dance she said I ain't looking for Mr. Right just Mr. Right now I'm getting tired of waiting for him to fall out of those clouds now you and me gonna dance tonight just for a little while cause I ain't looking for Mr. Right corn dog just Mr. Right now yeah yeah Mr. Right now yeah yeah Mr. Right now yeah, yeah, Mr. Right Now. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Right Now. Wow. Thank you. Oh, Rusty. Oh, gosh. So, um, so Rusty, uh, you're at KMVT, right? Yes. So, uh, Rusty is a television personality. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> Rusty produces a, a show over at KMVT, and I have to say it's an award-winning show. And I'm really proud of you over there. KMVT is in Mountain View, two miles away, another cable access station, which gives me a chance. And Bob, are you, oh, Bob is coming up. And then I, we have Peter. I'm hoping Peter's going to be here in a minute. But gives me a chance, since Rusty's over at KMVT, Mountain View, gives me a chance to just do a shout out to the Alliance for Community Media, our umbrella organization. They go and they lobby in, this, in Washington, D.C. so that we don't get cut out because we are really grassroots television. And, you know, this is very valuable bandwidth we have right here and other people would like to get it. So I'm just, uh, and also we happen to win a big award nationally, overall excellence for public education and government programming from the Alliance for Community Media this year. So really proud of the Media Center for winning that award. So um, next we have Bob and then I think Peter Chung is on his way from Santa Cruz, and we may have to wrap the show after Bob. But Bob is a, uh, you manage the San Rafael yes, competition. And so we're going to let uh, Bob talk a little bit about that, plug that, and, he, um, and he's a songwriter in his own right. So thank you, Bob, for coming. And we'll just see if Peter shows up. That's the big. Uh, I hope he does. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. yeah. OK, so thanks. I last night. OK. Gosh, oh, really? what about the talent here tonight? Let's give a hand for everybody, huh? Yeah. How do you follow Mr. Right now? That's rough. You're rough. Um, I have a, Chris, would you mind handing one of these out to everybody in the audience? We, we did, uh, we just started the San Rafael West Coast Songwriters uh, last year in February. And what we decided to do for fun is take the best song 
and the best performance of each one of our shows and put them together on a, our own little album. So we produced our own West Coast Songwriters album. And uh, we got creative, you know, w it's nonprofit, so not a lot of us are made of bucks. So we, when you win, you get three hours of studio time. So we collaborated with the studios, took all of our winners and all of our three hours, and got together and made one album with the three hours per performer. Went a little bit over, but the studios are really great with that. So I hope you enjoy that. That's uh, San Rafael's gift to you. It's got 15 or so songs on it and about 10 different original artists. And by the way, does anybody remember who won the competition last year, best song of the year? Bobby Joe Valentine. Guess what song's on there? Bobby Joe Valentine for Fly. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, Christopher Smith was one of the runners up. His song, Stumbling Stones, won. But that's not on that one. He did another one, uh, Sleeping with Clowns, that he did at, at, this, at the concert. And it just brought the house down. So I hope you enjoy that. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to do two songs. Uh, the warm-up song here. Anybody here been married for more than 25 years? Oh, good, Becky, all right. So I just made 27, and I met my wife uh, back in 1984, and I wrote this song for her for our 25th anniversary. And, uh, oops, sorry about that. So I hope you like it. It's called Seems to Be. Turned and dashed right out of you Just caught the corner of my eye Your long silky hair was blowing Down your back and waving side to side I tried to look away But I was mesmerized I could see it in your smile I could feel it in your eyes And it seems to me Our love grows deeper each and every day Seems to you Happiness has surely come our way And it seems to me Together we will find the way It just seems to be Saw me standing in line at the dance hall Later to me you confide You got mad your friendly hand She didn't tell you Why you were still inside Thought you wouldn't stay You denied it in your head But the feeling in your heart Made you fall in love that day Stay with me instead And it seems to me Our love grows deeper each and every day Same to you Happiness has surely come our way And it seems to me Together we will find the way it just seems to be We've spent half our life together now Side by side, just you and me We face lots of stormy weather We come through it together in one piece Not the destination I've been looking forward to Get your journey here with me And I'm grateful every day Just for loving you And it seems to me Our love grows deeper each and every day Seems to you Happiness has surely come away 
And it seems to be Together we can find the way It just seems to be It just seems to be It just seems to be That's for Mary. After I wrote that one, she said she'd give me another 27 years. So we'll see about that. Okay, a little more serious. This song is about uh, biological fathers and adopted children and uh, that search that they might have for each other. The secret I'll be keeping Be my biggest regret That secret was you, my son Whom I've never met I think God had a plan Someone to hold your hand When you first try to walk And I bet your new mom and dad Were so proud when you said first words that you spoke Now I wish I'd been there to dry your eyes and hold you tight When those bad dreams woke you like they often do in the middle of the night And I wonder if you You ever wonder too That would might have been if I ever met you. Not a day can go by, not reminded of you. My life's biggest regret is that secret I kept, son, I never met. Are your eyes crystal blue? Like your grandma's were too. Do you have my curly hair? Is there a scar on your knee where you fell from a tree that you climbed on a dare? I wish I'd given you the keys to the family car for your first big day. And I'm sorry I wasn't there to see you graduate. And I wonder if you, you ever wonder too about what might have been if I ever met you. Not a day can go by, not reminded of you. My life's the biggest regret. Is that secret I kept Some I never met I dream you're all grown With a house and a wife And a son of your own Did you teach him to fish And ride a bike Get your ball that you throw And if you cherish them high as much as I do All my thoughts of you Then you're truly blessed My beautiful son Whom I never knew Thank you. Thank you, Becky. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Bob. So um, I just got a word that our last performer, Peter, is in the parking lot. 
So I'm going to play for a little bit of time. Uh, I think uh, his, his song is called Waiting that he's doing. <laughs> but, I mean, let's, let's just have a little mercy. He, he's coming from over the hill, Santa Cruz, and he worked. So uh, if we're all just cool, kind of chilling for a little bit, um, I just want to say that tonight's show would not have been possible without our generous sponsors, Annex Studios in Menlo Park, Milk Pail Market in Mountain View, Carla Ray Piano Service in Palo Alto. Let's clap for them. Okay. And um, I also want to thank our two executive directors uh, for brokering the deal that made this show possible, West Coast songwriters Ian Crombie and uh, the Media Center Annie Folger. Uh, so I really want, appreciate our executive directors. And yeah, let's go and give it up to for them. And also, uh, I see that Peter is in the house. And so Peter, come on up whenever you're ready to get uh, settled. And I just want to say thank you again to our amazing judges, Sonia, Anthony, and Paul, for serving tonight. And so, yeah. All righty. And so um, I'm going to come back up after Peter sings, and I'll we'll just wrap the show. And I just want to thank you guys for being amazing performers and uh, supportive of one another. A wonderful studio audience. And I, I have a really great feeling. I was so nervous at the beginning of the show. And you guys just fed me and raised me up. So thank you so much for your performance tonight. All right. Uh, frantic, frantic. It was uh, going 90 sometimes, just trying to get on time, yeah. So I do have to say which one's like the actual song, which one's the practice, do I have to say that, or? Oh, okay, all right. Okay. So this one would be the competing song, I guess. Uh, I hate playing songs two days in a row the same. Whatever. This one's called Waiting. Um, it's in regards to. Um, uh, so I, I suck at talking, like I, you can see right now. And I used to be okay. I used to be pretty good at talking. And so I decided, like, yeah, I'm going to chase after women. And, but that never worked out. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to stop chasing after women. So I'm just going to wait for them to come to me. But that didn't work out. So it's just, it's just like. I was, I, I was like, I'm stuck in the middle. I don't know what to do. So it's called waiting. So, yeah. <clears throat> My name is Peter.
Watching the sun rise, watching the sun slip away. You've been waiting far too long, but don't worry, I'm on my way. yesterday but I played here first so this song's called what if it's another I suck with women song it's a common theme of my music if you take some of your time and you mix it in with mine A chemical to create A potion that works quick Even though our hearts and hands work opposite Even though our hearts and hands work opposite Take some of your plans and make them our plans. We'll crash, collide, create. Constellations in the sky. To Mars and Venus, no divide. Mars and Venus, no divide. To Mars and Venus, no divide. Take some of your smiles and press them onto mine. Our lips will close, connect. Oh, your skin will blend with mine. We'll have forever, but we'll take it seconds at a time. Take forever, we'll take it seconds at a time. Blue to green to gray, 
Don't close your eyes, I'm afraid A love will fade away Blue to gray to gray Don't close your eyes, I'm afraid A love will fade away hey. Oh, don't fade away Oh, don't fade away Love don't fade away Hey, wow. Uh, Peter, thank you so much. I think that's a wrap, but don't go away. So I want everyone to, uh, those of you who are watching online, check the West Coast Songwriters Facebook page for the winners because we can't stick around. We're go the judges are going to retire to their chamber and make their decision. So uh, without further ado, I have to thank the volunteer crew again. Um, and Karen Adams for working tonight, and all of you guys for bringing your talent to bear in the city of Palo Alto here. So you've been watching West Coast Songwriters Palo Alto Chapter. So join us next month, and we'll see you right then. Okay, bye. Yay. Birds of a feather and no one but it's always too early to quit. It's always too early to quit. To quit. To quit. Art through the ages. Continue.